Hello, wonderful people of YouTube, the internet, Blackboard, or wherever you are watching this. I've got a video on usability. I've been getting emails from this company for the past couple of months, and I keep on subscribing. They get into my inbox, uh, they make it past the spam filters. I honestly cannot tell you if I signed up for them willingly or if they somehow got my information from a third party. But I got tired of clicking on subscribe and always seeing that same company, so I thought there's got to be some kind of mass unsubscribe. So this video is about usability and what not to do unless you're interested in creating unloyal and ticked off customers. Clicking the unsubscribe link in, uh, in an email from this allows you to unsubscribe from a single email. A separate link in there allows you to go read their privacy policy, privacy policy page, which is here, that says uh, you can either call us or visit this web page. Now, I'll be honest, I have not called them. I just did this web page to mass update. And you're taken to this page, which is uh, where our adventure begins. So first off, they ask you to put in your email address. That's fine, but you have to read this very carefully. It says to stop receiving marketing offers, check the areas you do not wish to receive information about. And this is the opposite of the default behavior a lot of, uh, or the majority of sites use. Uh, usually, if you want to unsubscribe from something, you check what you want to keep and you uncheck what you don't want to receive. So just having to read carefully and do the opposite of what you're used to is creating a little mental tick and it's less user friendly. So you, you want to allow your users to do things without thinking. And this is causing their user to think and say, well, is this really what I want to do? Second, all of these start closed like this. You can see these top few I have and they are all unchecked. Now I've gone through here and I've clicked the check all button on all of these. So first you have to open in order to gain access to the check all and nowhere on this page is there a check all all button. And let me just kind of show you how many lists of emails we're talking about. I thought I had missed one. But this just goes on and on and on. Hundreds of different email newsletters that this company manages and 20 or 30 different categories that you have to open and click check all. So at least 50 clicks in order to get access to unsubscribe from all of these emails and nowhere on the page is there a one button to check uh, all. And then there's additional opt-outs which I'm sure are another subcategory that these don't even cover. So when we're talking usability, do not make your users do the opposite of what they expect to do. And do not make the process painful. Now if we look at this from the flip side, from this company side, they desperately want to keep me as a customer. So they've decided that the best route to do that is to create an extremely painful process for me to sever my relationship with them. And as a business strategy, that's one way to go. Now, my professional opinion is that you never want to go down that road. You never want to create painful experiences for your customers or your website visitors. It does not create loyal customers and it does not do anything positive for your brand. Thanks for watching.